Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Kaif Mills. If you're wondering, Justro, why you got that big smile on your face? I'll tell you, we're one more day to, closer to having pickled beans. That's why I got this big smile on my face. We're going to check them out today. I checked them yesterday. I think they're good to go. So we're going to process them, get them canned, and put them in the jar. And hopefully we got a few left over to eat. All right. Let's check out our old pickly beans here. Make sure there ain't nothing hanging out around here. Pull the top off. Now you're gonna get this. You're gonna be smelling them when they get this far along. And you can see down in there. You can see that stuff that needs skimming off. And that's all floating on top of the water. And I got this nice skimmer here that was a gift from Miss Debbie down in Texas. And we really appreciate it and we love yous down there. And we're going to see how, how that works on them skimmings. It might work. Seems like it's going to get the most of them. Look at that. It sticks right to that. Look at that. it right off of there just like that and also if there's any beans that's floating it'll get them real good too take this jar out for the time being everything sh should stay right where it's at get that out of the way to make it easier to skim the plate should stay right where it's at but look at them beans how pretty now them's on top floating so I'm on uh, Go ahead and throw them out with the skimmings. But once you take out that, that jar out of the way there, you can really do a good job cleaning up in here and getting everything. Look how pretty them beans are. Now this is going two weeks today. I think, I think usually what we do is a maximum of two weeks. Some people like them to go even three weeks. It's it's one thing that you can adjust your adjust your pickle on how long you leave them. So you know if you if you uh, on the grape leaves, if you want to, if you don't want them as pickled, you just don't don't wait, don't leave them in there pickling as long. That's all you got to do, and I. You can prevent having all them beans come out if you do a little better job than I did on the uh, on the uh, the grape leaves, getting it sealed off around there. And if you got a a perfect size, these churns are harder to get something down in because the neck is it's littler than the the vessel is, so it makes it a little harder to get to get things. Uh, down in there to hold them down but they they make a two they make weights that are in two pieces and that that way you can kind of now them right there kind of floated up so i'm gonna well wait and see if i can't find some more here take my other take my other spoon here see if we can fish out some beans from down low there we go they just kind of come out around the uh plate so i'm gonna wash these off and try them and see what the flavor's like be sure when you leave your jar that you cover it back up real good because you don't want no sneaking no kind of a sneaking uh, fruit fly or anything like that to get in there because they'll they will just uh, ruin your ruin what you're doing here so They'll ruin your doing. You don't want them to get in there, so cover it back up good. Well, folks, these beans are just, for my taster, they're just perfect. So that's two weeks. Uh, and they're just about perfect. So I'm going to call them good like I want them and make plans here in the next day or two to get them out of there and can them so that's what's going to be happening i 
Now with this pickle bean business, you will have a smell and a half, but that's just part of the process. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my little scrap pan here. I'm gonna get my my plate out. Get my plate out here. Just like that. Get all my grape leaves out. We don't eat grape leaves around here. A lot of times that old nasty, not nasty, but that old scum will stick to your grape leaves and you can carry it right out with them. Now, the only place you're really getting a smell is, uh, is off of that, uh, off of that top part, so. You ain't really getting a smell off of the bean. It's not the bean you're smelling, it's that, what's going on on top of that water where it meets the air, see? That's where stuff happens, where the water meets the air. easy here. You better get this about the right angle. We're just going to tilt it down just like that. Try not to make a mess. We can help it. And I just scooped the top of the water off yesterday so I ain't too worried about scooping it off but if there's anything on there when you go to do this go ahead and scoop it off and clean it off before you take your beans up out of it. I just scooped it off yesterday, so there really wasn't nothing on there for me to get off. Just like that. Get your trusty old bean scooper. Oh, man. You can just hold, hold still for just a minute now. Let me wash my hand off. I got something to show you here. Just hold still for just a minute. Just hold still a minute. I'm gonna show you in something pretty. Look at that. Look at them pickle beans in there. Oh my goodness. Man, look at that. Woo. Can't wait to sink a tooth in them. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. All right. Go very gently. Tilt this up and let them roll out. I not need my scooper just yet. Be able to roll them out. You just don't want to over roll them and miss your strainer. There you go. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse these off here. Just rinse that pickling water off of them. Good. Now see in the olden days. They just leave these in the crock, see? They just go out there and dip out what they wanted when they wanted it. Put their weight back on them, push them back down under the water, and they kept there right on and on. They might get mighty strong. You learn the minimum amount of salt to use. and They might get strong, but they'd wash them good and fix them and eat them. Boy, mm, you talk about good. You talk about good. Right there. Mmm, I wish you could taste of them. It's a 
green bean with the best pickle flavor. Mmm. Man. So good. And I'm going to get my jar. My final. I just washed these jars so they're good and clean. Dip them right out of here. Got them rinsed real good. And little buggers is flying around, so just be sure you keep a watch on them things. Get out of here. Get out of here, Nats. right down their line. And I've caught them and killed them and done everything else and still ain't got rid of all of them. Yet. What I have learned, if you pretty good, pretty fast, you can slap them down. Put the smack down on them. Get rid of them that way. Now we got that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Now, what I'm going to do now, right easy, fill this up with water. Right up to the shoulder. Clean my jar rim off real good. But what I do is I set these things down, and when I rattle them like that, that shakes all the air bubbles. Pretty much, you can see the bubbles rise up. That pretty much takes care of all the bubbles. See them there on top, and I do that on every jar. no big hurry I'll get out a jar at a time make sure they get washed good but they ain't no need in trying to get more than that the way I do it I just want to get them washed real good so real good, all the pickling water. That's all I care about. Now, get us another jar. I'm gonna get me a different different scooper cup because that one up there's got that that old pickling water on it so get this and then scoop clean cup scoop them out here ends might see better if I set that right up there as long as I don't knock it off Look how pretty them is. Look how pretty them is. Of course, I say that, and right there's a string on that one. Oh, they're still pretty. You gotta have strings to have beans, don't you? All right. Nothing on the rim. 
new flat and a new ring. had a pickle bean while well, you need to sometime they are my goodness they're so good I ain't kidding mm -mm -mm. what's real good if you pickle beans with your corn now or pickle corn with your beans I guess it is that's real good too. And that pickle food, I don't know about when it goes through a, a process. See, when you make kraut, sauerkraut, it don't go through the cooking process. It's probably better for your gut health than these pickle beans is, but oh, they're still good. We'll have a mess of them for supper tonight. That's our reward, and we got a several jars to store too. So, oh yeah. Quite a bit of shellies in here with these two, uh, man. That makes a that makes them good. That's the way we like them. All them shellies in there. See there. Seems like pickle pickle beans. Is Especially good to show. Shake them down there like that. Fill them on up. bubbles down. I might have a little too many in that jar. A little carried away with my dipping. All right. Now we're going to wipe that all. Once in a while you might see a little bean with a spot or something on it. I just pick it out. That's just whatever it went through before it got to the crock or rinse them off real good boy mother loved pickling beans I tell ya I'm glad she showed me how to do this and always encouraged me doing things like this I tell ya I'm so thankful Now, a little something else you can do to get a good example about the air bubbles. If you fill a jar up with water after you put the beans, you put the lid on and you bump it like this, you can see them air bubbles coming up from down in the jar. I don't know if you can see them, but they're coming up all around. Now, look. After you bump all them bubbles up, see the water is down here when I filled it up to here. So, getting them air bubbles out... If you want to do it that way, some people prod around in there with a 
a spoon handle or something, but I don't like to tear my stuff up. On pickled beans, they'll tear it pretty easy, so you can just take the lid off like that. And I think what you'll end up with is some beans above the water that you might have to dip off. They might, you know, get dried out or something, but that's what you do to prevent that. That's the last of our beans. I've already got 14 jars fixed to run. So, a few more back in there. That's all. So we had two rinds, 14 jars, and we got enough for supper. Now, wasn't that some good figuring? Or guessing, I guess I ought to say. Some good guessing on my part. So there we go. We got two full rinds in the canner, 14 jars of pickle beans, and we got enough for supper. So you can't beat them numbers. Put these in a jar. And we'll have them for supper here. I guess probably tomorrow night. It's about too late to plan on it tonight. There's our supper jar, hot diggity dog. Now we're gonna wash our crock out. Scrub it out real good. Can you see, Char? No. Can't see. You're seeing pretty good from over. I can't see it. It's hard to see. I'm just reaching in there and kind of feeling my way. Scrub this thing out. be ready for the next time we want to pickle something. What are we going to pickle next? Uh, Cabbages? Yeah. Make us some kraut? Yeah. Alright. All right, we're going to put our beans in this pot so we can water bath them. All right, we got our water up over the tops of our jars now. Put our lid on there. Bring it to a rolling bowl and we'll water bath them for probably 15 minutes. You probably don't need to do it that long. The beans are already cooked. We're just gonna seal them, but we'll do it about 15 minutes. All right, folks, we got a rolling bowl here, so we're going to set the timer here for 15 minutes on the dot, hot diggity dog, and we're just getting close to having some canned pickle beans here. I can't wait. All right, folks, 15 minutes is up, and now we're going to take these babies out of the water. here on the towel pickle beans pickle beans all right cover them babies up and put the second run in all right, folks, I'm going to do my little can check thing here like I always do. See how we done. And when you cover your jars up with a...
towel like this you do not have to have leftover mater sauce stains on that towel for it to work it'll work just fine without them stains on there i wanted to make that clear to you let's see here oh yeah we got a full seal on these baby dolls Now what I'm going to do on these beans, since they are pickled, I'm going to put me a little pea on every one of them. And I'm going to write it little so that if I want to write something else on their label, I'm bad to, I'm bad to reuse flats and you have to be careful doing that. But I'm going to put a little pea on there so I know they're pickled. Now what I do here to fix my pickled beans, we fried our Midland meat until it's nice and brickly. That's the way we like it. And we got our drippings right here in this pan. So we just take our pickled beans, put them right in that seasoning, and we'll, we'll, we'll just fry them in that seasoning until most of the water's out of them. And oh boy, oh mercy. If you hear somebody hollering, it's probably me. Folks, if you want good results like that, everything to work good for you, do like I said and go by the signs when you pickle anything. You go by them signs, plan ahead and do it at the right time and you'll have some good results. Right there's the proof of it. Well, I'm gonna say that two weeks was just perfect on the pickle bean flavor that we like. And also that quart of rusty sweet apples that I canned when I was canning pears. They turned out real good, so if you got any rusty sweet apples, you can can them and they turned out good for us. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video of my pickled beans here. I sure did enjoy sharing this experience with you. It's been carried on in these mountains a long, long time. And I'm so glad I could share it with you. I want to dedicate this video to Miss Tipper Presley and her family over there at Celebrating Appalachia. They do so much to preserve our heritage and they share all kinds of good things if you don't know them you need to check them out i dedicate this one to them pickle beans i know that's something they're familiar with and probably something they love most of them anyway like this video if you liked it subscribe if you ain't already tell your friends about me hit that notifications bell and if you ain't tried pickle beans well, you just ain't lived yet. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.